All this week, the normally rather quiet and sleepy airfield of Le Bourget plays host to the great and good of the global aerospace industry. The headlines are likely to be dominated by the two giants of civil aviation, Boeing and Airbus. Both can be expected to announce substantial orders. Boeing will be showing off its new 787 Dreamliner. This radical plane has impressed airlines with its fuel-sipping efficiency, but it's also suffered a long list of teething troubles. Boeing will be out to persuade its customers that all is now well with its new flagship. For Airbus, meanwhile, this is a home event, and it's determined to put on a good show. Its new A350 will be taking part in the air display for the first time, alongside the spectacular A380 Super Jumbo. But the A380 itself is facing an uncertain future. Ten years after its first flight, demand for the giant of the skies seems to have dried up. If no orders arrive at Le Bourget, there could be trouble ahead. Nevertheless, life is currently reasonably good for Boeing and Airbus. For most models, their order books are very full. And although competitors may yet emerge from China and Russia, for the moment, there's no one powerful enough to challenge them. So I think it's very reasonable that there's going to be increased competition, that there'll be some eating into that duopoly. But I think the other thing you have to consider is that Airbus and Boeing are acting you know, on their own to try and maintain their position. They're both being very aggressive in the market. They're both looking at how they can make the aircraft more affordable by taking cost out. And they're increasing their rates. Right? And ultimately, they're both investing in digital and digital technologies. In the defense business, life is harder because government budgets remain tight. Some leading contractors have decided not to come. But the US Air Force, the world's biggest customer for military kit, is here after missing the last show two years ago. And that will come as a big relief to the show's organizers and to potential suppliers. Theo Leggett, BBC News, Paris.